Hey, I'm Jacob Buttersby, and this is my comparison video of the Nubby covers from Sphero themselves and the Hexnub covers that I've been sent by them. So let's get to it. Well, this is the Hexnub cover, and this is the Nubby cover from Sphero themselves. And I'm going to start with the pricing between them, like how much they cost. The Hexnub covers come in at eight ninety nine per you know per case, obviously. I don't know why you'd buy more than one, but if you were lucky like me and got sent them by Hexnub, then you know you're gonna have more than one. Uh, speaking about me having more than one, I will be actually uh, giving away a few of these, probably three or maybe two, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, stick around on my channel for that, obviously hit subscribe to enter. Yeah, so these are eight ninety nine, as I said before, and I'm very happy with that price, it's quite cheap, just an accessory. And then we have the Nubby covers from Sphero themselves. Now these are, depending on where you get them from, are about $9.99. If you are thinking about buying these anyway, because you're all about brands like Apple and that sort of thing, no offense to Apple, I am an iPhone user, so don't come out about that. Uh, you might probably would buy them from Sphero's website for some reason. Uh, they are $14.99 cents, like dollar sort of thing, so $14.99. And if you're in the UK, I'd probably recommend going to Amazon to buy these, as they are $9.99, I think. Uh, there's also a website called I Want One of These, where you can buy the Sphero or the Ollie and all the accessories from there, and they are $9.99 on there as well. Next up, I'm going to compare the speed of the Sphero, so this is Sphero, with both these cases on at different times. So I'm going to record it with the hex nub case on, doing how long it takes to get from one side to the other, and then with the nubby cases on, then you'll see the results. So as you could see, the hex nub case was a lot faster, well I say a lot, it wasn't much in it, but it was pretty faster than the uh, official nubby case. So if you're a user of the Sphero who loves speed and enjoys doing the challenges all about speed, I would recommend getting the hex nub cover if you plan on going outside or you don't want to get dirt, the Sphero dirty or anything like that. Now I'm going to show you which is fastest in the water. So you should probably know from watching my review, if you haven't seen it, go check it out in the description below, that Sphero is waterproof. Now that is a big, big thing for, you know, engineers of tech all the way around the world as waterproof is going up in the thing with the you know, Sony Xperia phones and now with Sphero. So if you love using water, then you need to find out which case you should get for using it in water. So say if you live next to a lake or something like that and you have Sphero, you're probably going to want to throw it in the lake every now and again. So which case should you buy if you're going to do that? So as you can tell from that video, actually the Nubby official case from Sphero themselves was actually faster in water. I am actually surprised about that as the Hexnub cases was faster uh, than the Nubby on actual ground. I think it's about the sort of the actual design thing is this, as the hexagons are better for on ground just the traction is a lot better. Whereas these are like, you know, oars for a kayak or like a boat or something like that. The bigger they are, the more water you push behind you, so these being bigger, the more water it's pushing behind. So yeah, if you're into water, I'd recommend the Nubby. If you're into ground, go for the Hex Nub. Now for the overall feel of the Sphero with the cases on, this is currently the Sphero 2.0 with the Hex Nub case on. And this feels very, very nice indeed. It's something that I could really get used to just using as like a stress ball, trying to like break it somehow. And it's very nice, you know, throw up and down like I mentioned in my review of the Hex Nub cases. So yeah, overall feel, the Hex Nub does win, and it does look probably better because of the colour choice I bought. So obviously the black one compared to the white, no offence to anyone out there, but the black one in this case. So to wrap things up, I'm going to talk about my personal opinion and what I think about both the cases. So overall, completely overall, I think the Hex Nub cases win, and that's not just because I've been sent them or anything like that, it's personally just my opinion on the feel, the price, everything. So overall the price is better, the build quality is better in my opinion. And this does feel, they both feel nice in the hand, but yeah, the black, well, the hex nub cases win overall. So if you are wondering which one to buy, you know, if Christmas is coming up or, uh, no, whatever you celebrate, um, you might want to think about getting the hex nub compared to the nubby. Now, uh, Sphero released these new turbo covers which go on the Sphero 2.0 as I've got here and apparently these make it faster than these cases but not faster than the Sphero themselves so if you're thinking about buying that because you want to make Sphero go faster 
it won't. The case will just make it go slower. So getting one of these on like the conservatory floor like I've got goes pretty fast. Throw on a turbo cover, it'll still go fast but slower than the actual Sphero itself. And the same with these two. Anyway, that was it. Go check out my giveaway later on this week. I won't be I won't be giving away Sphero. I'll be giving out my one of my hexano cases or three actually. Unfortunately, I won't be giving away the black or the pink one, but I'll talk about that in the video. So thank you for watching. Go check out my setup video that I worked on this morning, and it probably should be uploaded by now. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> not, not yet. Sorry, just before I go, I just want to mention that if you enjoyed this video or anything like that, please leave a like, comment with good feedback, because I do that say that in the description. Come reply with good feedback that I can actually relate to, so you know, say that my audio quality wasn't as good. Please do comment about that so I can improve next time. Or if the video quality wasn't that good, even though it probably should be, uh, just comment below and I will work on that. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff to get the latest content up from my channel. Yeah, you can carry on with that.